Our first war was the Boer War, where we followed the English into war because... Uh, I don't know. There was a famous case of Breaker Morant, who was court-martialed and executed for killing prisoners of war. He claimed he was only following orders. An excuse used some 50 years later at Nuremberg. We vowed to never again blindly follow our ally into war. Then came World War I, where we blindly followed our ally into war. Gallipoli was important for us. It's where we forged our national identity, including several important traits, such as sitting around at the beach all day and complaining about the English. We vowed to never again blindly follow our ally into war. Then came World War II, where the English didn't help us against the Japanese. We realised we couldn't just rely on an ally to protect us, so we got a bigger one. South Africa's apartheid regime was bad, but instead of going to war with them, we were part of an economic and sporting boycott. We couldn't stand the way they mistreated their native black population, something we would never do. So we boycotted their racist regime. Also, they had a great young cricket team that had just thrashed us, so it was handy timing. Also around this time was the Vietnam War. Our Prime Minister, Harold Holt, proudly declared we would go all the way with LBJ. We originally wanted to go all the way with JFK because he was so damn handsome, but he'd been shot. But rather than going all the way with LBJ, we couldn't even get to second base. We even got rejected by Israeli PM Golda Meir. Vietnam turned into a quagmire, and we vowed to never again blindly follow our ally into war. Then in 2003, the US invaded Iraq, and we blindly followed our ally into war.